maybe you guys have done this, but there's this group of like consultants that created this thing called the marshmallow challenge, which they go to a company and they give you like a bunch of um, sticks, uh, one marshmallow, some tape and like a string or something like that. Have you seen this, Darmesh? I think I have. Yep. But I'll, I'll kind of summarize for those. Yeah. 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 Those who have it basically they give they give you this these set of um, tools and they say, OK, your goal, the game is you need to get a marshmallow. The winning team is going to have a marshmallow like as high above this table as you can. So build your tower as high as you can. If you can, whoever gets the highest marshmallow, whoever's tower has the highest marshmallow at the end wins. We're right. We're going to stop the clock after 30 minutes. We're going to say hands up. And, you know, your marshmallow, whoever's marshmallow is standing the highest wins. OK, good, good. So they go and they do this test with like a bunch of different types of people. They do it with consultants. They do it with like kind of doctors and they do it with um, you know engineers. They do it with um, whoever creatives like ad agency types. And they're trying to see, OK, which group is going to perform the best at a challenge like this. And basically across the board, what they found is that uh, they suspected maybe engineers are going to do the best. And the engineers do, on average, do a little bit better than than others. But not by much. They actually are all pretty horrible at it. And I think like, you know, whatever, 80, 90 percent of the groups at the end of the challenge, their marshmallow is on the ground. It is fallen over. It never even, um, you know, got up at all. Like if you had just put it, if you had just taken like, you know, two sticks and put a one marshmallow on top, you would have won the challenge. Um, and the reason why is and, and they, they did this test with kids and kids actually are phenomenal at this. Uh, kids on average will beat the adults at this game. And why is that? Well, because what what happened is that they would give the project to the adults and the adults would spend the first five minutes like delegating roles. Like, OK, you're going to be the person who does the planning. You're going to be the one who you work on the sticks and the, the bottom structure. We're going to do this over here. Then they would just like kind of draw out like, OK, let's do a teepee. No, let's do a, a, a ladder. Let's do this a cube or shape or whatever. And they would do all this. And at the very end, they would try to stick the marshmallow on. And what they don't realize is that the marshmallow is a lot heavier than it looks and it will outweigh the sticks and it'll all fall over. And because they're doing that thing where they wait till the very end to like ship the final good product, they don't even realize where the flaw in their plan until like it's too late, essentially. Whereas what kids will do is kids will immediately grab the thing. They'll stick the marshmallow on. And it's like if the kids don't eat the marshmallow, the marshmallow will like get into the structure very quickly and they'll see, oh, it falls over. OK, it falls over. That means we need to iterate. and We need to do things differently than we would have otherwise assumed. And that like one lesson I've done at pretty much every company I've ever started, because it's the only way I can get engineers and designers who by nature are often like sort of like perfectionist or quality. And like they in their associate, they in their mind associate the longer we work at this, the better the quality will be before we ship yeah. it. And I'm always like, dude, let's ship it today. Let's see how bad it sucks. And then let's remove some suck from it. And like tomorrow it'll suck a little less. And then tomorrow it'll suck a little less again. And the, the best way I've been able to drive this point home is to give them the marshmallow challenge and not just like watch the video, watch the Ted talk. It's like, no, go fail at this so that you yeah. taste defeat. And then you will actually learn this lesson. Dude, that's like the greatest CEO thing that you've ever done. That's a good one. That's a really good one is to make people do this and then make them watch the Ted talk. That's like, that's a really good leadership tactic. I'm 100% going to steal that one day. Yeah.